The contents of the Cinema ProMed system include a quick start guide, a USB drive that includes instructional videos, the Cinema ProMed manual, a Netflix suggested viewing menu. The package also includes an advertising sign for the reception desk, customer brochures, headphones, the Cinemizer and 30-pin Apple adapter. Let's begin with how to set up the Cinema ProMed system and operate it properly. This is the battery box. The power button turns the Cinemizer on and off. The unit will power itself off after about a minute of non-use. The multifunction button controls both the user volume and several on-screen display settings for the Cinemizer. By rotating the wheel toward the cord, the volume control adjustment will increase volume. By rotating the wheel away from the cord, the volume will decrease. If a user inadvertently presses the dial, a menu will appear on the Cinemizer screen. This menu will time out after several seconds if no further action is taken. The multifunction button also controls the 2D, 3D settings on the Cinemizer. Your Cinemizer has been set to default into 2D viewing mode, indicated by the green light. Holding down the multifunction button for several seconds will switch it from 2D to 3D, and the indicator light will turn blue. In order to view 3D, you must have a source video that is in 3D. The RCA Connect port is a 3.5 mini jack that will receive signals from VCRs and DVD players with RCA output, as well as any video audio source that utilizes the yellow, red, white RCA connection. This is the charge indicator light. A steady green light means a full charge. Blinking green indicates nearly full charge. Amber indicates power running low and red indicates the charge is nearly depleted. This is the mini USB port. It's used for charging the Cinemizer battery and updating the firmware on the Cinemizer. The Cinemizer Apple Kit is for fourth generation or older Apple devices. New fifth generation Apple devices require a different Apple adapter called a Lightning to HDMI adapter, which can only be purchased from an authorized Apple reseller. Once you have this adapter, the Cinemizer can be connected using the HDMI adapter, which we will discuss in the next section. The Cinema ProMed system comes equipped with over-ear headphones. For storage, the headphones are removed from the arms of the Cinemizer. To assemble, the headphones slide onto the arms of the Cinemizer and then plug the 2.5 mm jacks into the Cinemizer. The headphones may be adjusted by expanding or contracting the head strap to ensure proper fit. It may be necessary to slide the Cinemizer closer to your eyes for a better fit. Do this by squeezing in on the Cinemizer with your fingers while pulling in on the headphones with your thumbs. Each eye can be individually focused on the Cinemizer by adjusting the focus wheel next to the viewing screen. There is an adjustment for each eye to ensure a crisp and sharp picture. The Cinemizer should be cleaned after each use. It is recommended that the entire body of the device, including the headphones, be completely wiped with a low alcohol-based disinfecting wipe. Only eyeglass cleaning cloths should be used to clean the viewing lenses. The ProMed system includes Zeiss lens cleaning wipes. The ProMed system also comes with disposable headphone covers. They slide easily over the headphones and should be replaced after each patient's use. Both the Zeiss cleaning wipes and the disposable headphone covers are available through your order system. The Cinema ProMed system comes with a 30-pin Apple adapter, which allows you to connect the Cinemizer to any compatible fourth generation or earlier Apple device. Connecting any Apple device to Wi-Fi is simple. First, make sure your Apple device is connected to the Internet by making sure this Wi-Fi icon is shown in the top left-hand corner of the device on the action bar. If the icon does not appear, then you must set up the device for Internet use. Select the setting icon. 
Then, select Wi-Fi, sliding the bar to On. Select a network. And finally, enter a password if prompted. You may need to contact your network administrator for your password. Once you have your Apple device connected to the internet, accessing video content online is easy. For this demonstration, we will download Netflix. Select App Store. Find the search button at the bottom right. Click it and then type in Netflix into the search bar. Once Netflix is found, click the Install button. You will need an Apple account to install the app. Once you are logged on to your Apple account, it will take a few minutes to install. Next step is to open the Netflix app. You will be prompted to log into your Netflix account. If you don't have a Netflix account, there is a 30-day free trial available, but you will have to set it up on a computer. A Wi-Fi connection is not necessary. Video content can also be downloaded directly to the device through iTunes. We have a tutorial explaining how to do this. The video is titled Cinema ProMed Downloading Content. Another way of accessing content is to use the supplied HDMI adapter. To use the HDMI adapter, first remove the Apple adapter. Next, the HDMI adapter is slid onto the bottom side of the battery box. Be sure to line up the connector port on the inside of the adapter plate. Then push until you hear a click. The port on the adapter plate is HDMI mini, so you may have to use the supplied mini to standard adapter in order to connect to a regular HDMI device. HDMI can be plugged into your computer, Blu-ray player, video camera, Xbox, PlayStation, tablet, smartphone, or anything that has a digital HD output. All you will need is the proper HD digital to HDMI adapter. See our YouTube channel for a tutorial on connecting to HDMI. To use the RCA cable, you must first disconnect the HDMI or Apple adapter for the RCA cables to work. Plug in the RCA adapter to the 3.5mm jack and match your yellow, red, white jacks up to your play source. 